of a, a revelation, he will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. That is the kingdom of God, Amen. my brothers and sisters. That is the good news. Amen. When we, we go through these hardships and trials and sufferings of this world, the things we face every day will soon fade away. That's why Jesus promises us. That is the very word of God. And at the end, he says, he will wipe away every tear. Right? As we enter his kingdom. As we have this wedding, right? Wedding feast. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more pain, no more death, no more warning, warning crying. Because Jesus makes all things new. Amen? Amen. Amen. One last good news. You guys want to hear it? Yep. So far, so good. Good news? <laughs> yeah? Verse 9. And the angel said to me, Write this. Blessed are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. And, the, and he added, These are true words that come from God. Those who are invited to the wedding, they will be blessed. Everybody say blessed. Blessed. Yeah, the blessed people. Are we invited to this wedding? Oh, heck yeah. Amen. This is our wedding. This is our wedding. This is the wedding between our, our Jesus, our Lord Jesus, the groom, right? And the bride us. This is our wedding. Of course we're invited. This is our wedding. Now, this blessing as the bride of Jesus Christ, right? What is it? Many of us think, oh, you know, in kingdom of God, in heaven, there's going to be maybe like a valley of fall, you know, running down, never-ending fall, coming down, flowing, overflowing, right? There'll be a rock of ice creams, right? You just go around and <laughs> scoop it up, right? Get a spoon, right? Rocks of ice cream, you know, trees of steak. I wrote, I wrote that unlimited shoe closet for my ladies, right? That, praise <laughs> the Lord, yeah. <laughs> unlimited, you know, shoe closet and uh, uh, jackets, you know, all these things, right? We may think this heaven, right, the kingdom of God, the, this forever kingdom, and this after wedding, right, it's going to be a party, right? They, we're going to get all these things, but we might, we might, I don't know. I've never been there yet, right? Hopefully I get to it, but just not yet. But all I know, all I know is that there will be things far more better than those things we experience here on earth. Amen? Amen. Better than fall. I, I don't know. Maybe he has something greater than fall. Maybe he has something greater than ice cream. Maybe he has something greater than the shoes we're wearing. I know that. I know that's true. How? Through the word of God. But Jesus promises us. Far greater things than those we experience here on earth. The material things we get do not compare to the blessing as, as, as the bride of Jesus Christ. They do not compare to the blessings that we get as the bride of Jesus Christ. That we get to dwell in the house of God. Simply being with our Lord Jesus Christ. Right? These things fade away. All the hardships and sufferings. All failure is just simply being with our Lord Jesus Christ. That is the blessing for us as the bride. Amen? Amen. You know, this you know, takes me a few years back when I got married with my lovely wife. Uh, just a couple of years, right? Uh, for the first morning we faced uh, together and thinking that, man, I'm going to be with this woman, this, this gal, this lady for a long time. And for the rest of my earthly Life, you know, worshiping God together. That, you know, that truth, right? That truth, that fact gave me excitement. Yeah, the picture came out a little blurry, but yeah, don't, don't focus on the picture. Just the, the picture that we had, we had this wedding, and then the fact that the truth that you know that I was gonna be, I'm going to be, right, with this woman, this gal, for the rest of my life, the earthly life. You know, that truth gave me excitement and joy and happiness. But once again, greater joy. Greater happiness comes from the one who provides, and that is Jesus Christ. In this wedding, we, we may have this earthly wedding, but we, at the end of the day, when we have this wedding with our beloved Lord Jesus Christ, oh man, it would be an exciting, joyful, happy experience for us. Amen? Amen. You see, the wedding, it's not about us. You may think, oh, Jesus, I want this, I want that. You may think it's, it's about us. But you see, it was never about, it was never about us. It was always together. Everybody say together. 
Yeah, yeah. God planned and designed this thing, this whole thing, that we would be together with Him. That we would be together, be with, uh, be with Him in the uh, in the kingdom of God. You know, on this on this year's Thanksgiving season, we need to remember the sacrifice and the love of Jesus Christ. That is the only thing I personally that we should be really thankful of. Jesus Christ in the cross that we see. His salvation, His love for us. They were supposed to face death, but through Jesus Christ and His love, His sacrifice for us, that we see hope. Amen? Amen. We see hope, eternal life, being with Him, being in the presence of God, in His kingdom forever and ever. May we always be thankful for that truth. Amen? Amen. May we always be thankful for Jesus Christ. On this season of Thanksgiving, beyond this, uh, uh, this season of Thanksgiving, that we may continue to be thankful for Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's pray. God, we thank you for uh, speaking to us once again on this uh, season of Thanksgiving. Lord, uh, we've learned today that we should be thankful for no other things but, but you, Lord. For your sacrifice, your love, your salvation. So God, we praise your name, we, we lift up your name, we honor your name today as as your church, as one church, as A and C, Lord, we say we say hallelujah, just like the people we saw in the Revelation. We say hallelujah, praise the Lord for your goodness, for your love. Now, Holy Spirit, we ask that you would continue to help us always to be thankful for your Son Jesus. Help us to have that thankful heart. Amen. Amen. Help us to be thankful for the new life you have given us. Lord, uh, we face a new week, Lord God. We ask for your Holy Spirit to continue to minister and work in us, Lord God. Give us wisdom, strength we need. Give us guidance we need, Lord, because we are lost without you. Lead us, Lord God, and guide us into your ways. We follow you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.